All right, what's up, y'all? It is a beautiful day here in North Central Florida, and we're gonna slip out this evening and try to kill some hogs. We've got a spot where they're tearing up some power lines, and so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take the hopper of the tractor right here, this spreader, and just filling that with corn. And then we've got this Big and J pigs dig it. So, like I said, we used to use another attractant, and it worked okay, but it attracted a lot of non-targets. Now this has got like a, almost like a smelly cheese smell to it, and the hogs have been going nuts over it. We've been using it in all of our traps and increased our catch rate um, by probably five times. So I'm just gonna mix some of this in with the corn. Gonna mix that up real good with the corn. And uh, it doesn't smell bad. It just, it, I'm trying to figure out Trying to figure out what that smells like it does have like a almost like a cheesy smell but there's something else like bread maybe bread like uh kind of like stale bread i guess that's what it smells like but the hogs have been loving it so we're going to spread this down the power lines all the way down and we're going to leave and we're going to slip in right before dark and uh see if we can shoot a pig let's do it All right, we got the Bergera 308, and I've got a uh, Silencer Co. suppressor that we're putting on here, just because I don't have to use ear protection when I use this suppressor, and a lot of times I can get more than one shot off on hogs, because it's like, what was that noise? Like, it's so quiet. It's awesome. So, we're ready to rock. We're gonna sneak up here to this power line. We got about probably 30, 45 minutes before dark. We're gonna just sneak up there, and if there's nothing out there, we'll wait until Hopefully some pigs come out, so let's do it. So we're coming up on this power lines right here, just about 20 yards ahead of me. I'm gonna sneak out here and just poke my head out. Whack them and stack them, baby. That's a good little eater. He's probably he's probably 20 pounds. That'd be a perfect little eater. Throw him over the fire. About an 80 pound sow. She's pretty pretty poor looking. She's been nursing, but she's dried up. So that means her pigs are weaned. She's pretty much dried up. And then it, but a 20 pound little sausage biscuit. That's gonna be good. Wow, you talking about some hogs? This place is eight up with hogs. Guys, that Big and J works. <laughs> I put that stuff out maybe an hour and a half, two hours ago, and you can, I don't know how many hogs there were. A lot, there was a lot of hogs. That was incredible. There was, I could have got a lot of shots on a few of those pigs, but I just didn't want to take an unethical shot, even though these pigs are non, 
native and they do a lot of destruction. I still am not cool with, you know, a bullet going through and hitting one in the hip and it that takes a week to die. I don't care what animal it is. Um, I'm not good with that. That's not how I roll. So I uh, got two good pigs here. Perfect for the grill. I got a pork chop and a sausage biscuit. What an evening. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and just gut these two hogs and stick them in our walk-in cooler here. And uh, again, you, you cannot age pork, but you can rest it. So we're gonna rest it for about two days and then um, we're gonna make something really good out of these two hogs. I'm gonna do something special with this little one. That 308 basically turned this little guy into old pork. All right, now we wait. All right, so we decided we're gonna rotisserie this pig over an open fire. And the first thing we gotta do is scald all the hair off this pig. Basically just honey, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of Worcester sauce, and Italian dressing. Simple as that. You can grab a hold of that. Just grab that little skin right there and it should snap off. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Try it. How is it? Is it good? Real good. Hot. It's my buddy Bobby. He would never lie to me. That's How long right. have we been friends? How long have we known each other? Long time. Yeah. I mean, it's been, can't wait. remember. It's been what? I don't know. Six days, Two, man? Uh, yeah, I was going to say a week and a half. That's crispy. That is absolutely delicious. So just eat the skin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Good flavor. Just good? I mean, 
better than I expected because it's pig skin, right? It's the best thing you've ever eaten in your entire life. Okay? Absolutely, it's what he said. <laughs> Man, the flavor. This little porker's got some fat. Have you tried some of the skin yet? Mm -hmm. Do you want some? Sure. That's a, that's a good piece right there. Grab that one. Crunchy, like you like it. That's true. It's like a pork tater chip. Mm -hmm. He didn't live long, but he's gonna be good. <laughs> That is good right here. Must like dessert. Tender. Super tender, good. right? <laughs> Juicy. Mm. Got a little bit Carolina gold sauce on it, but we've got Glorian's delicious mac and cheese and stuff. A family recipe has been passed around, passed down from I think like one generation. But it's delicious. <laughs> We got some deer poppers. Those are easy. Jalapeno um, that these guys brought. Thank you for bringing those. And no cream problem. cheese and a little bit of venison bacon wrap. And we'll have the uh, recipe of these um, this mac and cheese in the description because it is phenomenal. It's super easy. But um, appreciate you guys joining us. And uh, as you could see in the beginning of the video, if you saw the amount of hogs, we've got a lot of hogs to kill. So you want to help me kill some hogs, Bobby? Sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us, and until next time, stay well. Where's my skin? You hear that? Mm-hmm. No, that's crispy.